Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about Ye and his first lady, Bianca Sensori. Let's get into it. Now, last night, a lot of Ye's fans, they were looking forward to an album launch because Drake was also releasing an album as well last night based on what many have theorized. And as such, they believe that Ye would have dropped his album to cancel out Drake. But if we have been paying attention to who Ye is and what he's about, no matter what differences feud is going on between him and a member of the industry, he is never malicious towards them and he has never done anything to compromise their success. If anything, he will be the first person front and center to help that individual and as such i knew that album ye wouldn't have done that to no one absolutely no one and as such i knew the album wouldn't have been released last night but like hell did ye and the first lady show up today so ye and bianca was seen around milan and bianca is given statuette she's giving awards she's given you know, priceless, but top tier at that priceless line. She's giving unique, she's giving individuality, and she could be here, well, actually, she could be heard saying something briefly, irrespective of the fact that the media is trying to convey the impression as though she is not allowed to speak. But let's keep it real, right? Because in many cultures and um you know, traditions, the wives aren't allowed to speak in public. And if this is what is going on with Bianca said, sorry, what if Bianca is okay with it? Who is the media to be complaining about something that she's okay with? I mean, there are different dynamics that really sets us apart, that safeguards us as an individual and also our relationship. And if she's choosing to have those standards in her relationship, she's a grown ass woman, her life, her choice. But let's Let's get into this little snippet because it's not much, but it is definitely um, substantial. Let's take a look and then I'll get back with the rest of my commentary. Do you know where the jogger is? Yeah. Alright, that's me. Chop on you. It's not easy. Always, homie. Oh, hat. Do you know where the driver is? Yeah. Here. Alright, that's me. Chop on you. It's not easy. Always, homie. Oh, hat. Do you know where the that's it guys i had to give you that snippet twice because it is so short and bianca is speaking because the media is going ham today on her and we know it's a daily fail right they love to do that public assault once year and bianca surfaces i mean you can tell that the daily fail goes off on seeing this couple they just cannot do without Ye and Bianca. They're so obsessed. They don't even know what to do with themselves at this point. But it is okay. I understand, right? But I must say, listen, I'll take a very egotistic, confident, bipolar man any day over a deadbeat dad because when you look at that 200k honey i know that if ye is not giving kim that 200k monthly i know like he's throwing her a million dollars two million dollars and he's not even gonna keep up with how much he's giving her chances are he might have given her three million dollars already just for this year alone even though he's to pay 1.2 million dollars because his ego, honey, uh -uh, not going to allow him to not pay for his kids. I don't care what no one says. Give me a million years over one Tristan or one Pete Davidson. I'll take a million years any day. But guys, I know I can't be the only girly who is alone on this. And you know what? I think it is quite time that people like truly eat their vegetables drink their water and mind their 
business when it comes to people's relationship and things that they haven't put out in the public. But if they put it out in the public, you bet your ass will be judging, right? <laughs> but I just think that, you know, you can definitely tell that the media relies heavily on Ye to make money, to keep their businesses open, to feed their family, and to keep their staff employed. But um, while they're throwing these hateful reports out there i believe that it is also it would also be decent if they put in you know some good stuff about him as well because remember you cannot kill your source because when you kill your source where are you gonna go to right for food and water and it's clear that ye is keeping the entire department at daily fail in operation because they will drop everything once you pops up to report on Ye and Bianca. It's like nothing else exists. So I have learned that Ye and Bianca is a vital part of the Daily Fail's revenue. And without Ye and Bianca, the Daily Fail cannot keep their business open, feed, um, keep their staff employed, you know, and take care of their financial affairs. But at least you have to Put life into your food source. And if you're biting the hand that is feeding you, that is when you're going to crumble and fall. Karma is going to get your ass if they don't, you know, try to at least create some type of balance. I hope you all get the drift. I know y'all are smart people. You'll definitely get it. But anyway, that's really all I want to, you know, put out today. And it's your time to come in, guys. What have you been up to? What are your thoughts about Bianca always giving this statuette vibe? And when she speaks, she speaks with, um, you know, an intent, a direct intent. Every time I hear this woman speaks, you can tell that she knows who she is and what she's about. And she's not willing to sell herself short. Every time she opens her mouth, that is what I get. Um, if you don't know who Bianca Sensori is before you go off judging her, a lot of information is available about her and you can also check out her photos as well so that you can see that she has always dressed in, you know, this sexy, seductive manner because I do believe that our girl sees herself as a seductress. Have you ever taken a look at those art pieces? Mm -mm -mm. They are very sexy and they leave a lot <laughs> on the mind. Just putting that out there for those who have no idea what kind of work she does. But that's all. See you all next time. Peace.